guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you this spring inspired look. I've been super excited just playing with colors for you guys. I want to do something different playing with lots of colors so i hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and if you guys want to see more spring inspired looks please let me know down below and i will love to create some more looks for you guys so yeah if you guys want to see how i achieve this spring inspired look then keep on watching Okay love, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Primer. This is my absolute favorite and I'm just going to apply this all over the skin to prep for foundation. Next I'm going to go in with my Jouer and NARS foundation and now I am trying out this Jouer foundation but I got the wrong color. The, this color is way too light for my skin tone. So I have to mix it in with another foundation. So I'm going to be mixing it with the NARS foundation. You guys are going to see my expression. This foundation was way too light. So I definitely had to go in with my NARS to darken it up just a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Concealer and I'm just going to put this on the eyes so I can prep for eyeshadows. Next, I'm going to go in with my ColourPop QAF palette and I'm going to use the light shade right there. I'm just going to set the concealer down. Then next I'm going to go into this little Wet n Wild palette. I love this bra bone um, color. That's why I'm using this palette for that. It just gives me such a beautiful bra bone. And then I'm going to go back into the ColourPop palette and use that orangey shade. And I'm just going to use it as my transition shade. I'm just going to zoom in for you guys. And then I'm just going to build it up. I'm going to keep blending and blend, blend, and blend until my hand falls off. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go into this red color right here, and I'm just going to start building that right in the inner corner, or outer corner actually, <laughs> and start building it up. Next, I'm going to grab my Wet n Wild concealer and I'm just going to use it to create a half cut crease. So I apply a shadow and I want it to be very vibrant. So I definitely want to lay down this concealer first before I apply the very bright yellow shade. Then I'm going to take this bright yellow from the ColourPop palette it's such a beautiful color i'm telling you guys it's so beautiful and pigmented like the camera is not giving it justice like in person it's so vibrant and beautiful i am obsessed with this yellow i definitely want to create more looks using this color because it's just so beautiful Then I'm going to go back into the Wet n Wild Concealer and just conceal my under eyes and just clean up the shadow also. I love to do this technique. I love to clean up my shadow using my concealer. It just makes it more clean and more defined.
Next, I'm going to go into my Pro Fusion Contour Palette and I'm going to be using the Banana Shade to set my concealer. Going back into the ColourPop Palette and I'm just going to use the same shades that I use on my eyes for my lower lash line. So next I'm going to go into my bronzer. I'm going to be using the Neutrogena in the shade number 30 and just a bronze up the skin because my skin definitely needs bronzing right now because the Joy foundation was way too light for my skin. Way too light. <laughs> next I'm going to go into my Living the California Dream Benefit blush and I'm just going to put that on my highest points and just give it that beautiful color. Then I'm going back into the Pearl Fusion palette and I'm going to be using the two highlights to highlight my face and the highest points of my face. I love this palette. It's just so beautiful. It gives you that beautiful glow. I'm obsessed with this palette guys. And then I'm going to tie everything together using my MAC Fix Plus. And then I don't know what color I wanted. I didn't know if I wanted the NYX or the Pixie. And I just went with the Pixie because I felt like it tied in together. It's such a beautiful shade. I just finished picking this up and I love the formula. It's so good and so long lasting. I definitely want to pick up some more. They are so good. So I didn't do an ending for this video showing you guys a little bit of close up but I did show you guys a picture of the look. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. Bye loves.